EPA Dubai Meteorologist Bobby Marchich here with your outlook for June 21st, 2023. It is Wednesday. It is also the first day of summer as the summer solstice arrives at 10.57 a.m. on Wednesday. Uh, no daily forecast video sponsored today, but uh, we will have uh, an opening uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on whatever you choose. Uh, we have one of those two days that are going to be filled, but they're kind of yielding to whoever decides to fill the other slot. Uh, as far as what you prefer is a time slot for the video sponsorship. So if you do have a business that you're looking to sponsor the daily forecast videos, which are sponsored the other four days of the week, uh, please reach out to me at info at epawaweather.com. I'll give you the, all the information about the sponsorship, what it entails, and how you can become a sponsor of the daily forecast video. So yesterday, uh, if th those of you that uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, already know this, okay? But if you don't follow me on Twitter, it's at E-P-A-W-A-W-X, okay? That is our my Twitter handle. Uh, you're looking for my name, Bobby Martrich. You can look for that on uh, Twitter as well. It'll come up, or E-P-A-W-A. That'll come up that way as well. Uh, but we're talking about this next six days or so, six, seven days, is because we have uh, a very unsettled period starting later today, going all the way through the middle of next week. And that's a long period of time. Uh, so I don't want to give you the impression this is going to be a total washout for that entire period. So there might be, as I posted on Twitter yesterday, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not running the entire time, but there might be two to three inches or more of rain at any given location for that entire week, okay? So what I try to give you is here in the videos every single day that I do and what I do on Twitter is I give you a very pragmatic view of things is meaning it's a realistic uh, a realistic view, not a hyped up view. I'll give that if that, if that makes any sense. Okay, so it's very uh, grounded, is down to earth, and it's going to give you exactly what I think is going to happen, not what I hope it happens or trying to fill a narrative or whatever the hell you know people come up with in in. Uh, in weather twitter uh, <laughs> uh it, it happens okay but uh, i'm telling you that I, i'm going to give you a very uh realistic and sensible overview of this and i think it's not going to be raining the entire time it's not going to be cloudy the entire time during that six seven day period uh showers and storms look, look like they're going to be widely scattered i'm going to give you an overview of what i think is going to be the best days to see that uh during the next seven days and uh, no severe weather involved it doesn't look like it's going to be a severe weather issue uh, but again, you can get two to three inches of rain or even more than that, but it's going to be oh, spread over six days. So is that really a big deal? No. Okay. Uh, but there is an opportunity for some much needed rainfall during that stretch and near daily chances for showers and storms. So today is just showers. Okay. We have uh, across the southern Delmar uh, the Delmarva region where you have the opportunity for these scattered showers that are going to move northward overnight. You're going to have some uh, showers moving in during the evening and overnight further north. And you can see that here on the European models. This moves this wave through uh, the region. Here's the NAM high res future simulated radar starting this off at noon today. You can see this, all these shower activity showers across the southern Delmarva at this point moving northward. Now we have the Phillies game here in South Philadelphia. This is looking at 5 p.m. The Phillies game starts at 640 today. Uh, there is the opportunity for showers. If you are going to, to the Phillies game, and several several of you have reached out to me and said, yes, I am going to the Phillies game. What's the weather going to be like? There is a chance for showers during the game. The total precipitation between the start of the game, or actually the start of this event, which might be actually late afternoon today down in Philadelphia, uh, through 11 p.m., which by then the game should be over at that point, right? Uh, you know, starting at 640. The total precipitation for that entire event is, uh, that entire time frame is going to be uh, less than a tenth of an inch. So they should be able to play through it, okay? That's what it's looking like right now, but you could, if you're going to the game, you're going to have to dodge some showers and bring a poncho and that kind of thing, okay? But I think it's going to be light enough they can play through it tonight, and they should be able to get the game in. As we work through the later in the evening and overnight, this is going to move northward and bring these showers northward as well and this is going to go into thursday morning you see the time frame here is nine o'clock in the morning on thursday it's still over our central and northern areas and it's going to continue to lift off to the north and then you get this long break in between during the afternoon where it's just mostly cloudy on thursday 
So again, Phillies have a game here in South Philadelphia at one o'clock here on uh, on Thursday uh, against the same team, Atlanta Braves. So they should be able to get this in, okay. Uh, and the same thing for air areas elsewhere. Morning showers giving way to mostly cloudy skies. It's going to remain mostly cloudy here on Thursday, uh, but this is going to lift off the north, and you can have a few showers overnight. And then we have more showers moving in here on Friday. Okay, Friday I think is going to be a very widely or very scattered thunderstorm shower thunderstorm type day. Okay, we're gonna have a lot of activity here on Friday as this moves through. And you can see that here in the European model where you have that increase in moisture. Uh, just with the precip uh, precipitable water content, the southerly winds coming in here are going to get these, um, uh, give us pr plenty of opportunity for showers and thunderstorms here on Friday. And I think it's going to continue into Saturday as well. So Friday and Saturday, to me right now, look like the rainiest days, especially Friday, uh, but still continuing here on Saturday with these scattered showers and thunderstorms involved with this because we have a southerly flow. Temperatures are going to warm up a little bit uh, over the weekend. Uh, after being uh, on Friday, we're expecting highs that you see above me. 70 to 79 today, 68 to 76 is the spread in temperatures here on Friday. So it's going to be a little bit cooler here on, on, on Friday, but uh, Saturday, uh, or excuse me, Thursday. Tomorrow's Thursday. <laughs> Uh, a little cooler here on Thursday, 68 to 76 is the spread in temperatures. But once you get to Friday, Saturday, Sunday, temperatures are back in the 80s. Uh, now, when we get to Saturday, here's what Saturday looks like right there. Uh, it's starting to pull off to the north. Uh, this is the first upper level low. So our, our percentages on Saturday lowered a little bit slightly from what they were on Friday for some areas. Uh, but that once we get to Sunday, I think it's going to be even less. Okay, you have a, more of an opportunity for showers and thunderstorms, but less of, of a chance. Okay, so if you want to put percentages on this, I'd say Friday's probably an 80% chance of rain and storms at any given location. Once we get to Saturday, it's probably about 50 or 60%. Once we get to Sunday, it's about 40%. So it's going to go down a little bit. But then we have a trailing upper level load that's going to move in here for Monday. And that gives you a renewed shower and thunderstorm threat early to middle of next week. Here's Tuesday, especially Tuesday. And then once we get to Wednesday, we still have a lingering shower or storm lingering around before we get to Thursday and we're finally clearing out. So uh, we do see a light at the end of the tunnel, but it'll be through midweek next week, there's plenty of opportunities for scattered showers and thunderstorms. Again, on any given day, you might get three quarters of an inch one day. You might get a quarter inch the next day. You might get a half inch the third day. At, at the end of the week, you're still going to average out between the two and three inches, but it's not going to be a deluge on every single day, if that makes sense. In between these showers and thunderstorms, you have the opportunity for some brightening of the sky. Some sun might even come out at some point. So it's not like a total loss, uh, but we're going to try to navigate you through that here over the next couple of days. But I will tell you, uh, once we get to, like I'm doing here with Thursday, Thursday looks like it's a morning deal overnight tonight into Thursday morning. And then after that, we're just kind of mostly cloudy the rest of the day, okay? Could be a passing shower or thunderstorm in spots after that moves through, but I mean, that's pretty much it. And we're dry until we get to Friday morning and we start to renew this all over again. So what I'm gonna do over the next couple of days is go tight, you know, each, each single day, we're gonna take it one at a time and give you a breakdown of what I expect each day. So right now, the best chances for Showers and thunderstorms are going to be Friday, a little bit less Saturday, even less on Sunday, but then we renew that threat early next week, Monday, and especially Tuesday of next week, and then we start dying down again here on Wednesday of next week. Uh, if that continues to hold, great. If not, I will update you in the daily forecast videos that I do in, uh, in, the, in the coming days and uh, give you any information that is new, that it that disagrees with that assessment. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marcher. That is our outlook for June 21st, 2023. Have a great Wednesday.